Hello and welcome back to the channel. Uh, what you're looking at is a very real topic. Yes, slavery is on the ballot in some states. So we're going to get into exactly what they are talking about. And I want you to pay attention to the imagery as well <laughs> as they talk about this issue. Uh, talking about the issue of slavery being on the ballot. Um, look at this. Right away you go to the article and they say yes. Slavery is on the ballot in these states, and they're, they're going to break it down by state. But notice the image there. Now, they know good and well that in both slavery and prison, that this image is not representative of uh, the main people that they like to throw behind bars and put in slavery. You know? Um, anyway, uh, the caption on the image, it says, A supervised prison work crew in Florida prepare sandbags against the impending arrival of Hurricane Dorian in 2019, uh, lawmakers in several states have addressed whether to outlaw slavery in their state constitutions, in some cases, except for voluntary work by incarcerated people. So again, to me, that image does not represent uh, neither slavery nor prisoners. Um, of course, these are people who are in the system, but what I mean is the overall image. We know who they like to uh, throw behind bars here in this country. We know who they um, had in slavery in this country, right? And for those who always like to say, well, uh, white people were in slavery as well, uh, theirs was more like indentured servitude where they were able to buy their way out of it, or should I say, work their way out over a period, a specified period of time. And in no way were they treated the same as the, so the so-called black man and woman uh, in slavery. So anyway, let's get into the article. It says more than 150 years after it was officially outlawed in the United States, slavery will be on the ballot in five states in November as a new abolitionist movement seeks to reshape prison labor. So again, this right here is proving, uh, breaking away from the article for a moment, it is proving what many of us have been saying that they never really truly ended it because the prison system just picked up and carried on where actual slavery uh, dropped off, right? So they continued on under a different name, right? Um, of course, uh, deceiving people into thinking that this is a correctional situation. Correctional, we're just trying to uh, correct the minds of people who were uh, committing crimes, whatever. Anyway, um, <clears throat> It says three states, Colorado, Nebraska, and Utah, have approved similar ballot initiatives since 2018. This is the crown jewel of criminal justice reform, uh, said Curtis Ray Davis II, who served 25 years for uh, uh, second-degree murder in Louisiana State Penitentiary, known as Angola, and is campaigning for the amendment in Louisiana following his experiences in incarceration. Uh, it says uh, most people believe it was impossible to get the amendment on the ballot in Louisiana, but Louisiana and America should not be in the business of legalized slavery, he said in an interview. Uh, the 13th Amendment in the U.S. Constitution ratified in 1865 abolished slavery um, and involuntary servitude in the United States, states except as punishment for someone convicted of a crime uh, so again the 13th amendment if someone is convicted of a crime then you can keep them basically as a slave but here's the thing uh, this is why they go after or they put charges on so-called black people because they wanted to uh, continue what they had started here in this country and so this is why they would create impossible laws that they would only only uh, put on so-called black people. These laws that were things like um, uh, loitering, you know, because 
<laughs> that that was something that our people did back in the day. So they would get you for loitering, things like jaywalking, just simple things. They would make up laws. That's why they call it Jim Crow laws, because it was just different things that were made to control the black community. And if you stepped outside of that, uh, you broke the law and thus were labeled a criminal. And so they had, um, according to their laws, a legal right to incarcerate you. Okay, so let's get back to the article. It says the exception clause loophole led to repressive 19th century laws in the South known as black codes that allowed authorities to incar incarcerate black people for petty crimes such as vagrancy uh, and then forced them to work. Black codes were a precursor to the Jim Crow laws outlawed by the Civil Rights Act of 1964 says we want to remove offensive language and provide protection for citizens from slavery and involuntary servitude. Uh, Max Parthas, uh, co-director of the state operations of the Abolished Slavery National Network and a co-host of a weekly online radio program. Abolition Today said in an interview, uh, Parthas and other proponents also want to remove the exception clause from the 13th Amendment. They hope the stalled effort in Congress will gain momentum once states are aimed, I'm sorry, once states amend their constitutions. About 20 state constitutions have exception clauses that allow either slavery or involuntary servitude as punishment for crime. Vermont prides itself on being the first in the nation to ban slavery in 1977. I'm sorry, I'm sorry y'all, in 1777. Uh, but its constitution allows involuntary servitude in certain circumstances, such as to pay a debt, damage fine, or other cost. So, uh, there's a debate over whether removing the exception clause in the U.S. Constitution and state constitutions would be a largely symbolic uh, move or whether it would or could lead to significant change in the present system. Um, advocates say the sim symbolism is important given the shameful historic context, but also that banning involuntary servitude could be a stepping stone to improving uh, the pay and working conditions of incarcerated people. I'll say, okay, so there's a lot more to read here. You can find this on uh, pewtrust.org. Um, I wanted to get the gist of the article out there that uh, what they mean by uh, slavery being on the ballot uh, is the fact that some states are trying to get uh, certain clauses out of there uh, where uh, people are still being ass essentially used for free labor for states and for uh, the governments um, and someone's profiting from this and so they want that off the ballot. That's what they mean. I'm sorry, they want it on the ballots, but off the books uh, that uh, you are able to keep slaves um, in certain situations. They want it gone. And so, yeah, that's what they mean by it being on the books again, but, or on the ballots. Uh, but what I wanted to point out, again, was the fact that the image they used kind of threw me a little, because we know that white women are not the face of the prison system. We know who the face of the prison system is. Not saying that there are not white women in the prison system, but we know that they do not represent the majority. We know who represents the majority, but because that is a shameful thing for America, they want to try to use images such as that uh, to kind of throw some people off of what the real scope of things are. So anyway, share your thoughts on this in the comment section below. As always, keep it tight and keep it right. But until next time, we're out. We hope you liked today's topic. Please leave your comments below. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel, share and like this video. And with that, we're out. Be sure to ring the bell to be notified of new uploads on this channel. And also, comment, share, like, and subscribe.